Oh my gosh, wait a minute, what's going on guys? Hello boys and girls, Belize, what's up? It's your girl Angela Gag for Oh Miss Gag right here on Creme TV. Um, <coughs> I'm having some voice problems. I'd like to send a shout out to my voice. Can I have you back please? <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope I don't step on anyone's twinkle toes tonight. As you can see, I'm without high heels. There's a reason for that. I was at Universal the, the other day. I had to go do an Lee x-ray on my foot. I was forbidden to wear high heels. I told everybody I'm going to wear my high heels. But you know what? Universal, you guys were so good to me. You took very nice care of me. I was a very good girl. Kiran, let's see. Let's have a... Um, this is where the heels are going to be reserved for today. <laughs> the heels have joined me, but they're going to stay on the chair. <laughs> Anyways, guys, at home, I've got a fantastic OMG lined up for you guys. I'm so happy to be right here on Karam Television, back at the zinc, back here with you after a little break. You guys had repeats, so you were all good. I've got a great show lined up. I've got a gentleman here who's about to drop his EP. You gotta wait for that. He's here. If you're on the OMG fan page, you'll see I already wrote about him. Music, art, all kinds of amazing stuff happening in the studios tonight. But for now, of course, you guys know I've got to bring you those happy birthday videos. So if you've got a birthday today and or this week, check it out. This is for you guys at home. Happy birthday from me. So happy birthday to you guys. As you know, to get on birthday big ups, you've got to be on my Facebook page because that's what I check and I get your birthdays. Or you got to shoot me an email through the OMG fan page or through Angela Gag's page. And if you guys send me a birthday big up, I include that as well. So happy birthday to you guys. So guys, OMG, this is your girl Angela Gag. Shoot me a text at 1010001. That's the text request line throughout the entire show, 1010001. You guys know what's happening. For now, guys, I'm going to take a short commercial break. And when I get back, I'll be on set with my guests. So see you in just a few. at home. Technology driven country. Technology-driven education.
with my reception. Welcome back to OMG, guys. I'm your host, Angela Gag. What's up, Belize? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Sending shout outs to all my Belizeans. What? Your girl is back. Hello. <laughs> Everybody in the studio is a chuckle with me tonight. If you guys were noticing, there was like repeats playing the past couple times. That's because I was out of town like Mayor Brown, but I'm back. Yo, shout out to all my people in the Middle East. Let's go smoke some shisha later. <laughs> all right, guys, enough of that. What's up, Mr. Matura? Hello. What's Hello. going on? Um, not much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> say it again. Wait, what's going OMG. on? Oh, I like to hear that. <laughs> oh, as long as you're happy. Um, well, as you know, I'm released my EP. Yes. My extended play on dubstep yep. EP entitled Wild So Serious. What's it called? Why so serious? Yeah. So why you look so serious today? Ah, I can't. <laughs> I can't look so serious. I'm trying. You're I'm tired. trying. You've been up early for the wake up Belize, and no, now you're on my show. No, actually, um, for the past days, actually for the past months, I've only been getting like four to five hours of sleep. So. Okay. I was cl close down. But you know, sleep is overrated anyway. So yeah. all good. <laughs> Welcome, Leo. <laughs> Guys at home, for you, those of you watching, this is Leo Matura. He's a DJ, a uh, mixer. Producer. Producer. Remixer. He's doing all <laughs> kinds of amazing stuff and he's got some wicked music to drop for us tonight. Yeah. So when we're talking about his EP, that's the extended play. Extended play. It's a CD. No, it's actually a, a download. Free download. Well, yeah. I got the CD. Because <laughs> I'm pimp like that. <laughs> no, because I got the CD to listen to. Um, Gilvano brought it for me. Uh, well, you're missing a couple of trucks. So well, I need the rest of them. <laughs> but guys, an EP is an extended play. And it has, it's like a compilation of singles okay. well, that I've been working on for the past month. Okay. So, yeah. All originals. Wait, so that original song, you to create the songs? Yeah. Oh. Make them. Oh, word? Yep. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. All from the lab. <laughs> Tell us more about it. Tell us how that works. Tell us about that Ooh. process. The process, to begin with, is a 20 hour process on average. Mm -hmm. 20 hours of sitting and handcrafting these songs. Um, but you use what? Computers? You I use, use a computer. Okay. Yeah. Like a software program yeah. or something. A digital audio work studio. Ah, uh, awesome. So yeah. digital, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds cool. <laughs> do you have any like clips of you and like do you when you get into the studio and you do it? Do you like ever record yourself doing the music yeah, or? I, actually, um, no. Uh, no, not really. I should come in with my OMG camera sometime yeah, and watch you work. Day, for real. But some artists can't work in that vibe. Some artists need like no. peace and tranquility. Uh, well, with me. Once I'm in my zone, you're all good. It's ready, like you're not there. <laughs> ready to rock? Okay, well, that's good. That's good. All right, well, tell us more about it. You said you've been working on it for a month. It's finally being released. You've been doing a lot of press, publicity. You're having a launch, right? As yeah, well. Is that this? This Saturday. Saturday night at, at Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. All right. Tell us more about it, man. Okay, well. For you music lovers out there. <laughs> well, of course, it's primarily the dubstep with a little mixture of bro step, which is. Like a subgenre of dubstep. Okay, but what's dubstep for my viewers that aren't aware okay, of what um, dubstep is? Dubstep is a hybrid. It's like hybrid music, dub music. We all know what's dub music, right? It came from our sister island, Jamaica. Okay. Like reggae, heavy bass music. Okay. And what it is, is it's a mixture of electronic music now. What had happened was that the dub influence from Jamaica went to Europe. All right. And, you know. It became electronic electronic and stuff but the dub was actually electronic way before okay but we just made it a little different it was a combination of this um, other general called garage garage yeah. yeah I got some ill deep garage like some house some but but like from from Europe actually and I heard your stuff and I thought it was really rad so we're definitely gonna be listening to you play for us tonight yeah. you're gonna play some of the the new stuff um, or what you towards be towards the end of the show I'll lay down a nice Set. You'll be playing for me throughout the oh, whole show. Oh, of course, show, of FYI. course, sweetie. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. No, but um, I'll play throughout the whole show, yes, but then the show I'll lay down a nice DJ set of pure dubstep music. Awesome. With a mixture of mine, so some that you could look forward to to the event coming up Saturday. So you guys at home want to take your lead drink, you know, get ready, sit down by a coach, you know, get ready for the lead dubstep and you could have really fun watching OMG tonight. Yeah, of course. It must party get. leave it. What? <laughs> With Miss Gag and Leo Matura. Thank Where are you me. from, Leo? From Belize. From Belize City? Yes. So Proud you're not Belize district boy, you're not from Key. No, Belize City. Belize City, what? You want to shout out your Belize City people? Uh, no, I want to shout out everybody in Belize. <laughs> <coughs> um, everybody in Belize? Yeah. I like that. 
course, that it's because of them I'm where I'm at right now. Right. If you don't have listeners or supporters. So how did you get into music? How did you get into producing? Is it Ooh. something you studied? Is it something you just no. took an interest in? Um, well, originally I started out as a turntablist, a DJ. Okay. Um, hip hop, mainly hip hop was my main influence. Talking about Biggie, um, the Wu Tang Clan, nice. you know, those guys, old school. And I got influenced by this. Right now, I'm um, Def Jam DJ. His name is DJ Ace. Okay. And he influenced me greatly. I've always liked music from as young, but I got serious into DJing. So I got into DJing at the age of 13, going 14. Okay. And then after that, like around the age of 15, you know, I noticed that music's my passion. No, I'm, I don't want to play other people's music. I want to make my own music too. I and like play that. My music. Yeah, that's cool. So that's I started right. making hip hop instrumentals, work with people here and there. Nothing big. So, you know. you, so what we're downloading is all your music. You're not oh sampling my. anything. See, I misunderstood. I, I thought that you were mixing. Like, I thought you were compa- oh, no, no. <laughs> See? Oh, no, don't. The most, the most, the most, the most sampled part. That's probably on the EPs, um, the first track, No Love Without Bass. Okay. All I did was sample the um, vocals from Don Penn. Okay. And I reconstructed it all and made it into that dubstep track. Well, that's pretty cool. You're dis- so you're like an artist, like how artists paint on canvas. You're yeah. painting on music. You're yep. creating music. Yep. Oh, that's yep. epic. Yep. That's awesome. Every song you'll hear on that EP is handcrafted by so me. So if somebody needs somebody to produce, like let's say music for them, if they're writing songs, etc., you're the man to call. Yeah. Um, after this, actually, after this release here, my uh, main goal is to work with all, all local artists. Okay. Talk about, we talk, I want to work with um, our Garfuna drummers, our Brockdown people, Punta, our um, rock bands, them, and um, reggaeton. Nice. And infuse it into this general music and let us offer something new to the world instead of what they're too common to abroad. Oh, I like that. Hi to the five. <laughs> Hello. You got a high five on my show. You know you're doing good things. <laughs> 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 totally awesome. Well, guys, you know what? I think that we need to hear his music for sure. We have that coming up in a bit. Gilvano Swayze is in the house. He is here to Ooh. talk about Coca-Cola and 50 years of the Coca-Cola company. They had a huge art exhibit at the Image Factory. Did you attend? No, no, I've been busy. Well, they had all kinds of artists. They invited artists and schools to participate. So we're going to be seeing tons of that tonight as well. And in that process, you'll be DJing. He'll be talking art. We'll be talking history, all kinds of fun stuff. So guys at home, you know what to do. Just sit back, relax, shoot, get something to eat, get something to drink. You know how we do here back at the zinc. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, before I cut to a break, I want you to tell me something crazy. Tell our audience something amazing. Why should they listen to your music? Besides that it's different. They're going to really enjoy it tonight. I want to hype up my viewers, man. It's been a while since we've had a live show. <laughs> All right, you put me on the spot now. <laughs> well, that's what we do on live I'm TV. I'm kind of a soft-spoken guy. But, um, that music isn't soft-spoken. I've heard it. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> well, like... We want to keep their attention. All right. Well, Will you take your shirt off? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I mean for like when you're DJing and you get all into it, you get oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah, I get crazy. I've Trust me. Ladies, you see, you get I, I, I interact with the crowd. I get sweaty, hair see, flying so all over you're the not place. Shy. Boom. Okay. That's when I'm in my zone, of course. Okay, okay. Right I now understand. I'm just in idle. Right now you're talking to me on yeah. TV. Well, we're just having a conversation. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, a little more from Leo Matura in a bit. What I'm going to do is take a break, and when I come back, you'll see me here. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is come back to him spinning at the tables, and then you're going to join me and Gilvano back on set. So hold tight. We'll be back in just a few. Make an impression. The Beverage Division's Wine Cellar is the perfect shopping location for any occasion where you want to make the right statement. We specialize in Heineken beer, top shelf spirits, and fine wines. 
Our opening hours are from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturdays at 8 a.m. until noon. Call us at 223-0896-224-5415. Visit us on 104 Barrack Road in Belize City or on our website at callmenses.com. I've been watching you. You've been hurting too. You give all your love. Nothing left to show. Watching life go by, no one who to share Hey guys, every day is a race. At your work, in the streets, and even at home. You need to be ready, in control. You need a half liter of pure, raw energy to let your man out. Full Throttle Blue Fury, the new energy drink that will make you win all the races in your day. Full Throttle Blue Fury, let your man out. Available everywhere. Technology-driven country. Technology-driven education.
more. They're bringing it back to me, but a little more. Drop it like it's hot. Come on, give me some hot, hot. Get us hype up in the building. Back it is big. Let's link with Leo. <laughs> as long as you don't step on my twinkle toes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Always a good time in my studio. Guys, as you can see, Leo was dropping on some rhythms for us here in the OMG studios. What I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna cut him off because he wanna hear his music so he can take it a little lower for me because I do wanna talk to Gilvano. You could drop that in at the background while we char lar, but just lay low off of me so we could talk because we need some rhythms in the background. Guys at home, you saw that request line 10 10 one We've got giveaways, of course. Presents, prizes for our viewers watching, because we love you guys like so much. Like, I only come back home for honor, right? And I know that, right? I only come for honor, as I said. <laughs> Regularly? Yes, yes, and we missed you, uh, I must say. Thanks. thanks for coming back. Doll. Guys at home, Gilvano Swayze, artist extraordinaire, curator, image factory personnel. You guys, if you don't know Gilvano, then you don't watch the news, and you don't keep up with the arts in Belize. Gilvano's been around. A long time yeah, really in the long. business. He's even been on the phone book. Yes, I was. For good reasons, though. Yeah, his <laughs> art. His art was on the phone book a while back. Gilvano, welcome to OMG. Thank you so much, Angie. First time on the show? First time. I've been waiting. You don't call me anymore. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I have the same number. I'm not going there. Um, <laughs> society killed a teenager. You were scheduled to be here. Don't let me... Step on your twinkle toes. Boys and girls at home watching, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. People come and say, boy, then a bonfire pile. And then I saw it. I was like, okay. So I sent gifts the other, the following week. You did, and we gave them away. And yeah. the lady came and got them. She was like, toilet paper. Yes. I was like, yes. You can thank Gilvano for that one. But it had art in it. So. Noodles. That Noodles, was like, yes, yes. <laughs> With all the queen on them, yeah. There are pictures of that on Facebook too, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, again, uh, um, boys. Please come back. I'm having I'm struggling. So, because I'm struggling, I'm gonna let you take it away and talk to my viewers. Okay. Tell us why you're here. Okay. The reason why I'm here is because I'm working on a project uh, with Boeing and Boeing. Uh, the Coca-Cola branch of them is celebrating 50 years this year. Actually, they started out in 1961 uh, okay. in September, and in the in the um, Hurricane Hattie <laughs> that occurred October 1961, mm -hmm. the whole the whole factory got destroyed. So they rebuilt in 1962, and that's why it's 50 years later that, that we're celebrating the this. The Coca-Cola factory. Coca-Cola factory, exactly. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, Boeing, Boeing does other things. You know, Belican beer, the gallon jug stuff, and so forth, lumber, and, and so forth. Um, but Coca-Cola is celebrating 50 years, and we decided to do a project. And there have been many like projects, poster competitions, song competitions. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do something a little bit different, and we wanted to get all the big shots involved. Mm -hmm. So we uh, designed an exhibition called Open Happiness, and we invited 25 professional artists. These are big names like Pen Cayetano, uh, Carolyn Carr, Rachel Hushner, Terrell Godoy, Papa Lamia, Nelson Young, uh, Debbie Cooper, 
uh, Lola Delgado from all over. Right. And then I also invited 25 high schools from Belize City, Corozal, Orange Walk, Toledo. Okay. And, and what was pretty unique is that um, Boeing and Boeing provided cash for them plus artist material, right? And so they, they had the opportunity uh, to create something really cool with all the materials already. They didn't have to go and look around and try to figure out, well, well, I get money to buy materials. So we made it pretty easy for them. Okay. And the idea was for them to create a Belizean moment with Coca-Cola in their style. Right. We wanted it to be as authentic as possible. We didn't want the Coca-Cola to be loud, even though it was our product. We wanted it to be Belizean first, then Coca-Cola, because that's the environment we're in. And we had amazing, amazing results. We had, um, I had artists who I didn't even have a chance to invite because it was only 50, who submitted I know. works. I know, there are certain artists, big time artists that didn't <coughs> Big yeah. time artist. But yeah, diff different invite. media now, man. You know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get in this 10, 10 hint, number. Hint. Hint, hint. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was but it was really 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 good. I mean, and then um, after the pieces came in. Yeah, actually, I, I saw. I, I would like to take yes, and yes. show some of those pieces actually because yes, yes. we went over all this material. Guys, let's take a look. Let's start with the schools because I think education okay. is extremely important. Yeah, this is a submission from ACC Anglican Community Co College. College, yeah. yeah I love that. City. I love that they involve the schools. Yeah, and this and is actually a, a scenery right from behind the school where Government House starts, and you can see the white picket fence. Uh -huh. And this guy, I think he's the son of a Rass Head, a great cartoonist from Belize Times. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is a nice. So piece. that was from ACC. ACC. That was their contribution. It's really awesome. I love that the schools. And students are getting involved. And plus, Bowen and Bowen supplied all the materials, like you totally, said. Totally, totally. And so what was amazing was, um, we could keep rolling yeah, the images. Yeah, let's see the next. Uh, yeah, that's old Miss Gag. Let's see the next. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the Sunday Review. That's all we want. Crumb Television. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, that definitely, that, that one won first place. <laughs> that definitely won first place. You see the red, it represents Coca-Cola. Subliminal, now, subliminal. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what, what was pretty unique? This right. one. <laughs> this is Anton Leslie. He's from uh, in Placentia. <coughs> and what he did, he, I think he took a snap of Albert Street and then he converted it. If you look all the way down, it's black and white. So is this a professional artist? Professional or one artist. Of, okay. Professional artist. Okay. Uh, what he did is like all the old, all the buildings all the way down in the pers perspective of the piece. Uh -huh. He made them all buildings. And as you get closer, the architecture and also the uh, the different types of coke truck change. I like the lady in the front with the big boobs. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> we were wondering if coke does that, but um, you know. <laughs> All right. But but um, he kind of took a, a traditional landscape yeah. and he uh, totally made it Coca-Cola, but in a um, historical context where the buildings, like I said, are older as you look more down uh -huh. and as you get closer, it becomes modern. Let's see another photo here. All right. This this is a student. Um, if I remember correctly, this is Belmo Pan. Oh, that's so cool. Right? I actually a really like that. Belmo that's Pan. really cute. Yes. It's kind of like Coca-Cola quenching the world. I love it. Yeah. I really love. like that one. Yeah, that's a good piece. Shout out, shout out to that right. artist. This is another school. I think it's Belmo Pan. I mean, it's, it's 50, 50 different entries I'm dealing with. Uh, but this is another high school. And what is very, very interesting and I appreciate is that maybe 10% uh, of all the high school has like an art club, an art program. Okay. But there's a lot of creative people in the high schools and they're hungry. There, they're there hungry. was one in particular we we're talking about, a school that actually won. Maud Williams. Maud Williams. Williams. Yeah, that's in Belize City. They are where uh, the old hostel used to be mm -hmm. on Dolphin Street, by behind the Raccoon Street Police Station. Uh -huh. And they don't really have an art program, but when you go there, they have billboards and all these stuff nicely painted. And the kids are very, very, very driven. And um, they did good for a school who didn't have an art program. This one is really nice. Uh, this one I'm proud because it's Carolyn Carr and, and she's an artist who doesn't really sell her originals. You get to see her stuff on the phone book or in prints and so yeah, forth. Yeah, if you guys don't know who Carolyn Carr is, you don't know if I believe. Because exactly, she's a yeah. very, very well-known artist. Uh, mo most of her works are very nostalgic. This yeah. is a young guy, Daniel Cano. He's from Corozal. I really like really this cool. one as well. This is a typical scene that he sees every day going home to work, right? Uh -huh. And the guys are building a house and while well, between break they enjoy a nice Coke in the middle of the midday sun. A Coke is the best thing to refresh you. I love it. Yeah. So this, this guy is really good. Uh, this is Debbie Usher. Uh, this piece is called Craving, Planting Chips and Coca-Cola. And this pregnant woman, you know, she's still trying to fit in her jeans and so forth. Really nice. And she went to the plantation to get some green planting for make some chips. And you can see that Coca-Cola in that little basket there. Exactly. Yeah. And like you say, you... you nice you, little you, accent. You, exactly. And then you, you get to enjoy the artwork more. We don't want it to dominate it. it was, it's a Coke moment. It's not a Coke poster. Right. So um, all the pieces are, are very original. A unique thing about the exhibit, this is uh, Delil Academy. 
Okay. Right. This is done in uh, Dangriga. As you can see, we got from all over. Yeah, the whole the whole country. The whole country, Toledo, everywhere. Which is why the show is traveling, right? Exactly. Exactly. And this is one of the reasons we're here. Right now, the show is wrapping up at the government house. Uh huh. And then in, on Monday, we're opening up in Corozal at the House of wait, Culture. Wait. This. No, wait. Let's hold on. This. This is one of my favorite pieces. Okay. I, this is a very, to me, a very surrealistic piece. Yes. I love it. I think it's so creative. It's so fantastical. Tell us about this piece, Gilvan. All right. I this, love is a, it. this is an artist uh, from uh, Placentia. Um, his name is Ernest Garcia. I meet a lot of these guys when I go down in February for the Placenta Sidewalk Art Festival. Right, right. A lot of young talent. Actually, <laughs> I, I found like five new artists with really good stuff. Uh, he, in his piece here, as you can see, is showing the, the, the energy and the joy of having a Coke, uh, what, what explodes when I you love enjoy it. a Coke. I and love it's this it. jaguar hunting a picari, right, in, the, in, this, in this swamp land. Um, this is an artist from Corozal, Fred Trejo, uh -huh. and he's capturing the typical landscapes of the little Coke signs on the side, but also celebrates the colonial architecture and the, and the, and the regular mode of transportation by foot or bicycle. Right, so a lot of these pieces will become historical pieces because yeah. they capture so landscapes. Let's, 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 let's just be the last piece for now and then let's come back to us, chat a little and show pics more later. Okay. Tell us about this one. This piece is a totally different piece from what, what you would notice, I mean, in a regular painting. Right. This is by Ingrid Cayetano, the wife of Penn Cayetano. Okay, okay. All right? But she's an artist in her own, well, I mean, in her own way. Yeah. Not just a, like a painter or she calls her work needle art. <laughs> she's also a writer. She recently published a book with her daughter, Mali awesome. Cayetano. Right. Um, well, so hey, I, I need to have her on the show. Yes, you should. You hey, should. Hey, what's up? Holla, OMG. Yep, yep. <laughs> Angela at OMGOnTV.com or hit me up on Facebook. Yes. You know, <laughs> sorry to throw off the Coke thing. But yeah, hey, no problem, no problem. Got to have her on my show, talk about her book and her exactly. art and everything. Exactly, no, the book, the book was a, a project she did for, for, uh, for college. Okay. I mean, you have to do like a final project thesis because she did graphic design and art history and so forth. And she created this book, but she created a whole marketing tool for it. And then it, it's actually something I'm working with with Rachel Hyde. She has a really cool book too. It, it's kind of like um, kind of like a Dr. Zussi thing, right? I have the book. I'm, I'm reviewing it and so forth. But with Mali, what she did is she, um, her mom and, and son, mm -hmm. her, not her mom and son, her mom and her brother, uh, they wrote the story and she illustrated it. And um, she created this really, really cool book. And in, the, and in the book, it's about the Garifuna culture, these two little kids getting lost, mm -hmm. which is actually her and her brothers. Right, they get lost, and this bird takes them to this this lady, which is their granny, and she teaches them about the culture. And the bird, and a bird, carries them to Saint Vincent as well. But it's beautiful, and she did a marketing tool where she created music to go with it. She also created like backpacks and so forth. You know, like when you buy a Dora, you get the CD, you get the book, but oh, you yeah. can buy a, yeah. a, a shirt, a pajama. So she looked at it that how you can make one product into a whole line of products. Love it. That's fantastic. Yes. Yes. So very cool. Now back to Coke. We do. Let's show. Let's. Cause my people like prizes. Let's okay. show them what we're gonna give away. All right. So they go keep the sunny in the text. Send on the big ups and you don't know you gonna get some prizes tonight. <laughs> we got two sets of prizes to give away. Yes. My aunt Shelly at Boyne and Boyne gave me <laughs> some sexy Coca Cola shirts. So you got Coca Cola shirts. Coca Cola what's shirts. What's I have, this is a cool book. It's a historical book about Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. And it's not just about the product, but about world events. A lot of things we don't understand is that uh, certain products uh, exist during certain world events, like World War or during the um, Prohibition and so forth. So it shows you how the product has evolved and how, how it also influenced history. So it's very interesting read. It's, it's not just about Coca-Cola. Mm. And then to top it off, I have a gift certificate for a case of Coca-Cola. All you need to do is take your empties and you get a whole case of Coke. Nice. So, so you guys can't at go home, wrong. So then are the prizes tonight for OMG Omis Gag. Hey. So I have I have double soft drink, double t shirt. Set. Yes. You get a um, book. Exactly. You get and a book. I'm gonna throw in some uh I have some I was recently with the team Belize for Olympics. Okay. I got a lot of interviews. Cool. Today's a full lineup, but on next week's show, I'll be playing um, Team Belize. Belize to represent that at Olympics. Okay. So I have some pins and some really cool stuff nice. for, for the Belize Olympics. So I'll give some of those with these prizes here. Beautiful. Because we have to big up Team Belize. Of course, we have Andy Wigmore, who's big time representing. And then we have... um. Um, there, there's a guy I read about in the newspaper, I think last week, yeah. who was carrying the torch. This guy who was adopted and so forth. A really interesting story. Yeah, there's Belizean a lot going on. In I'm, London, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were. He's in, my cousin. He's your cousin? Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. So. <laughs> big up. 
<laughs> Big up, you know how we roll. <laughs> Keep it all in the family. Exactly, exactly. No, we're so talented people. Well, I don't know if my cousin is carrying the torch, but my cousin is a big part of it. In London, he's okay. a big part of the Olympics. He does crossbow. What does yeah, he do? Trap shooting. Yeah, trap that's shooting. Like, he wasn't trap adopted. Shooting. Okay. No, 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 no. no. That's why no, no. But that's, this guy <laughs> that I mentioned about is not your brother. He's, it's 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 a not, it's a story I read in the Amanda last Unless week. Unless there's something I don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> with the wig You will talk to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know my dad's I'm one of kidding. ten kids, so <laughs> right. maybe I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Coke yeah. before we get in trouble. Olympics <laughs> is next week. We'll get more with that. Yeah. But um, and then Mr. He works at HRCU man, Mr. Um, Maine. Maine, Maine. Sonny. I actually have Uncle to go Sonny see Maine. him today. I have a bunch of. Mr. Main, Andy sent me a whole pack of Team Belize pins. Sweet. I have to conceal the HRCU and bring them. Can I get so, one? Yeah, of course. Please? The yeah. Team Belize pins are amazing. Uh -huh. I got a lot of Team Belize stuff and interviews and lots of amazing stuff. Good man, we need to, we yeah, need to see that. We need something positive And on I have TV. some great interviews, but today was so hectic. Also guys, I went down to Case Branch Outpost and I did some filming out there of the cave tubing and just nice. to let Belizeans really get a feel. And I'm going to play that next week as well. So for those of you down at Case Branch that saw me yesterday or the day before, day before. whatever day I was there, um, I know you're looking out for your segment tonight because I interviewed some of the guides and people down there, but that will be playing next week. So okay. keep it locked to OMG. Back to Galvano. Uh -huh. In Tell fact, me. looking at my time, what I should do is take a break and then come back to you. So let me cue to a commercial break and I'll be back in a few. For you guys at home. Technology driven country. Technology-driven education. Every day is a race. At your work, in the streets, and even at home. You need to be ready. In control. You need a half liter of pure, raw energy to let your man out. Full Throttle Blue Fury. The new energy drink that will make you win all the races in your day. Full Throttle Blue Fury. Let your man out. Available everywhere.
In fact, can I have my shoes? I, shoes, I miss wearing you. Next week, hopefully, I'll be well enough to have you on my feet. Shout out to my shoes. <laughs> Are those lips inside the shoes? Too? Yeah. Mwah. Sexy. Red lips, too. Sexy. Red lips for Coca-Cola I'm representing tonight, you know? Nice, nice. I'll shout out to my mom. Shout out to my dad. Love you. Shout out to my brother, his girlfriend. I'm just shouting out everybody tonight. Big up French people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know Gilly. I'm sorry. Let's yeah, take no, it back. Yeah, no, darling. This is your show. I mean, <laughs> well, I feel like we're DJing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we're on radio, <laughs> not on the TV right now. The tele, you know? <laughs> the tele. Yeah. All right, let's get back to some more serious stuff. Yeah, tell me what you want to. Our know. show is finishing at House of Culture. Yes. Now it's going to be touring Belize. It's traveling. Exactly. So first, it's heading to. We're doing Corozal, opening on Monday. Where? The uh, it's an old market. Okay. It's an old historical building that um, has been converted to the House of Culture there. So right? all the art pieces? All the art pieces will be there, uh, students and professionals. And so we're, we're going to open it there and invite the artists. Is it free? It's always free. What? We it's like free things. And we got free Cokes too. Big up to free stuff. Exactly. <laughs> 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 but what we wanted to do, because we had such a great participation all over, we wanted this exhibit to tour so the students, their parents, their families, their friends, can appreciate what they're doing and enjoy Belizean culture, no? And maybe it'll encourage the schools to do more art programs. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. And see the importance of it, not as a beautification, but as a historical document. Like I said, many of these pe pieces document a certain time in Belize, the architecture, the cultural event. Now, why are we just doing a traveling art show? Like, why don't we do one on culture and history and stuff? Why don't we make a continuation? The Image Factory should do this like as a continuation. Well, I we, like the, I like yes, it. Yes, yes. We have done a couple other traveling exhibits. One of the things is that it's costed, to be honest. Okay. And uh, many of the venues are, um, are are not as accommodating. So it's good that we had a big company sponsoring and exactly, providing exactly. materials, etc. And covering it. And, and, Shout and out to Shelly Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shelly, we, we sat and she thought about it and she said, I want this thing to work really good and, and I want it to be very professional. And that's what, I, that's what I like because I wanted the same quality that we put off in Belize City is in Corozal and Orange Raw. And that's because it's out of the district. We just put it in the park and forget, and forget it. We want to put it in a nice space. We want it to properly open and basically have people come in and enjoy it. Okay, so how long will the exhibit be there? Two weeks in Corozal. Then and, I, and then I break and then we move, we move to Banquitas in Orange Raw. Banquitas in Orange, Orange Raw. Okay. And then from there, I go down to Dangriga. <laughs> Right, okay. Dangriga at the Pelican. Okay. They have just converted an area for exhibitions. They have held a couple other exhibits uh, that has flowed through the Museum of Belize. Okay. And then we go to San Ignacio Cayo, and then we go to uh, in Belmopan at the George Price House. I will, want get, I will want to get a list of that and put yes. it on the Facebook um, okay. fan page for make people know so they could see like all the places. Yes. The, I think it's important to document that. Yes. Is that also on the Image Factory website? Yes. Um, I have um, bounced it to all the schools and all the artists. We, we bounced that to all the schools and all the artists. We also um, have a physical poster that I'll be posting in all of these areas so you know when the exhibit is coming. And then we've also put ads in the Amandala. Oh, oh, excellent. Yeah, we have done this already, yeah. Amandala, but, and, and we're doing it number again. one newspaper in Belize, exactly. widest circulated. <laughs> have to be part of creme, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. No, what I mean, we, we want to make sure that everybody knows what's <laughs> happening. So we're attacking our media and then we're, wor we're working on a Facebook page. Because a, a thing that we didn't, I didn't get to mention to you, besides uh, giving the artists uh, material and cash to start the project, uh, they were winners, of course. Three big winners for the professionals. Yes, let's talk about the judging and the winners. Okay, there are three. I know big there was a process. You guys invited judges. Exactly. And then they won. Okay. If, if the guys have an opportunity, there's a file that says judging. Because I wanted to let the people understand that uh, we didn't just look at these and flip through these and say, well, I like this one because it's pretty. But then... Um, See, guys in the back, can you find the file that says judging on the, um, with the pictures? Let's show some of those on the screen right now. Okay. So what I did at the Image Factory, even though the exhibit went over to House of Culture, is I set up all the artworks, proper lighting, proper layout. And then we had um, four different judges that came in. And these four judges, they looked at it, look at the pieces uh, depending on their, on, on their experience. For example, we had someone from corporate who understood the product of Coca-Cola. I had Ignatius Perifit, who, was a, um, who is a sculptor. I had Jeremy Spooners, a photographer. Uh -huh. And I had Jamai Trapp, 
who's very good at graphic design. Yeah. So I had four different eyes looking at the pieces. Okay. Th these oh, there, are, there yes, we go. Okay, exactly. Excellent. This is Mr. Pal Mr. Pollard, okay. Nick Pollard Jr. Uh, he wasn't one of the judges, but he was there. <laughs> he has been with the company. One of the he's one of the old longest workers. Now I don't want to say oldest, but longest workers at, at that Boeing and Boeing and a manager. I, and I love that all the pieces are the same size. Exactly. For what the professionals, size is that? It's like like thirty six by twenty four. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so so. So that spoons right there. Exactly, judging. Uncle Jeremy, and they had to pick their top five. Okay. Right, and then from the top five, we look. Who's that guy right there? Uh, I oh. don't know. <laughs> but um, they had to pick their top five. Okay. And out of the top five, we look at the three that appeared the most. Okay. Right, and so it kind of made it kind of fair instead of just telling them we just want your top three. Right. Uh, that's Ignatius Perfit, a really great sculptor. He's an, a nephew of George Gab, right? Okay. So I mean, he has an artist's eye, as you can see. Jeremy, as, as a photographer, he looks at things in a different light. Right. Right. Me and Mr. Nick were reminiscing old memories of Coca-Cola and then also different projects they have sponsored. That's Jamai. Jamai, right? Very good when it comes to, to video and, and editing yeah, and I've graphic design. Yeah, I've worked with Jamai on tons of yeah. projects. Cooking with Smoky Mermaid, yeah, all the projects. Yeah, Jamai. He's, he's one of Excellent. our best graphic yeah. designers, I mean editors. So we had professional people on it, right? Um, that's one of your favorite pieces that right there. That is a piece I like, yeah, absolutely. It's, re it's really good. And that's me and Shelly. We're tallying the scores. So who won? Okay, for the professionals, we had Terrell Godoy, okay. Man at Work. Yeah. Which he was having Terrell. the best week ever because the weekend before, he <coughs> launched a reggae bus concert. Nice. Right? I mean, he Kudos. had won. Congrats, Terrell, boy. Yes, yes. Terrell, I really, I like his Terrell's music. Terrell's so talented. Yes, music, music art, arts, I mean. Every, everything, yeah. And original. Yeah, original, Terrell original. is so talented. Yes. Uh, so we had Terrell in the professional category as, as number one, and he won five grand. Night, five thousand. Real money, real money. Cha Ching. Yep. Today's triple up. Send me some credit. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah, I need some too. <laughs> and then we had Car um, Papo Alamia. Okay, right? Papo. He, yeah. Yeah, he's between San Pedro and Corozal. He won second prize, which was two grand. Nice. Right. And then uh, Carolyn Carr came in third. Okay. Right. And How much was that? And, and she won, did I say two grand for Papa or three grand? Two. No, three, sorry. He was three grand ah. and then Carolyn was two. So five, three, and two. Nice. So that's like 10 grand just for the professionals. So that's the, pro and then what are the schools? The schools, home? we had Maud Williams, Excellent. which was 1500, right? And then um, second place was, um, is it Muffles? Muffles, it's in Orange Walk. Yeah, Muffles. They, they were a thousand. And then third place was La... Not La, La Immaculata. It's in um, it's in um, Benke. Let me see if I remember the name properly. I mean, there's a lot all these. No, no, no. Names. Wait, hold up. Now, uh -huh. my, I got, I got. All right. Tell me. Why did the schools get less money than the professional artists? Professional artists, we yeah. make the money with the salary art. Yeah. Wouldn't the schools need the bigger prize? Like common sense, Natalia. That? Well, sorry. I mean, that's the first yes, thing yes, that yes. I, I was kind of surprised from. when you yes. said like. I don't mean to be controversial, no, but no, 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 no. I have to ask that. Well, we wanted to show the professional artists. Most importantly, that we really appreciated them participating. But I mean, schools are the youth. They are the yes, ones. Yes, I that understand. Are, I understand. But schools could use that money. I understand totally. But we, we, our main f focus, like I said, first was to show the professional artists that we really appreciated them. And then to because keep so up with the okay. exactly right. because the look. For like an artist like Carolyn Carr, one of her piece, I know she have only like sold one or ah, two, yeah, and those are fifty grand. Yeah. She would say. So even for her to participate in a work that she knows that it won't be her property, which we we keep the work. Ab excellent point. Right. See? So so we wanted to show them that we appreciate them. Good right. Point. You see, I just needed an answer. All right. I just needed an answer. <laughs> That's all I Good. needed to know. But another part of the exhibit, besides having these winners and the exhibit touring, at the end we have a final big exhibit at the Bliss. Okay. Where all the other pieces that didn't win. First, second, or third for sale will be auctioned off, ah. and the money eighty-five percent goes to Lifeline Foundation. Nice, right? Speaking of which, um, prayers for Kim, right? Yes, yes, big time. Exactly, exactly. And then eighty-five percent goes to, to to Lifeline Foundation to help their cause and the wonderful work they've been doing, and fifteen percent goes back to the school or the professional artists. Right, so they get some money okay, again. Okay, that's nice. Right. Okay. Well, right. you know, I have to step on your twinkle toes a little bit. <laughs> if it says something, I have yeah, to query yeah. it. You know, I have to be like, what's up? But no, but you had a very valid point. Excellent reasoning. Now, what I'm thinking we should do is we should do some giveaways. Gilly. Yes, yes. We need for this on giveaways. We two, two package. Did All right, uh, so guys that have been texting in. Leo, did you bring some, some freebies for us too? Where, where are they? The sidekick has them. 
trying. Leah brought two samples. All right, we're going to be giving away too. some CDs as well. Yeah. Why so serious, CDs? Big up to Miss Janine Harvey from your kids with love. We got a lot of big ups here. Um, oh, I like that's going to set us up on a favorite Belizean show. Oh, I thought I was their favorite Belizean <laughs> I think we artist. should call them. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should. Insider trading, you have their number? <laughs> I'll call them. <laughs> All right. Um, Terry and Shireen, love from your mom. Um, <laughs> I love it. Text on the Sanin. I never read that. Come on, I listen. I never read that. Out loud. I want to Sorry. It. So the first time I look for the request line, I, I <laughs> gonna sweep me right now. Just point the one. Let's give them a go. <laughs> can I read it first? You can read them. Sure. This is epic. All right. Go ahead and point to one. Let's give them a call. That one there? Yeah. Okay. Second one. Second one there. And then we have a couple other pages. Yeah. That I'll click back to. <laughs> Nothing about me, no? My career is over. Your career is <laughs> over. Gilvano, no call him like 625. <laughs> <laughs> Send him some credit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we're calling somebody that sent in the text request line. Let's give them a call. <laughs> we don't have to be quiet, right? No, no man. Like Look, yeah, shows. one one time, me and Super G left one voicemail for somebody uh -huh. on the show because we get an answering machine. That me epic. <laughs> uh. So what happens when you send a text and you go to sleep, and me and, and you our and guests Super G call? Are me and Super G, me and Super G, me give us our stuff, mm -hmm. and they to sleep. So we decide for left ear voicemail. All right, that needs to go all the way down for me. The volume. Leo. That volume needs to go all the way down for me. Ooh. She's booked tonight. Cock walked. Sorry about that. Let's see here. <laughs> all right. Um, ooh, till Gavano from the Pops. You just got from the PUPs. <laughs> you just got one. No, that's you just somebody got selling one. junk mail for me. Let's call them. <laughs> <laughs> they Six said I look good in red. I said, zero, don't tell zero, the PUPs. One, three. <laughs> Three seven. <laughs> you scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> That's another the number. I just I never give away one of your numbers, by the way. Again. <laughs> no, I would. I would never. <laughs> All right, we got stuff to, to Gilvano from the PUBs. Lots of love to Martin from your girlfriend Liz. You're scandalous. I love, it. I love it. Three five nine four. All right, let's call this person here. Speak a phone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It all goes down on the OMG show. <gasps> hello? What Mother, the hell? <laughs> make me left a message. <laughs> make me left a message. Hi, what's up? This is Angela Gag. What's crack lacking? We're calling you from OMG. Joining me is Gilvano. So Wazy, you and just lost out on an opportunity jokes. to win a case of Coke and some T-shirts and a book. But don't yeah. worry. Keep texting and you may win some prizes. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> and some free music from. I just want to talk about how we left message. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to text in, keep the watch this show. I know that's 10 o'clock. I mean, you can't be past your bedtime. I mean, come on. I must yeah. listen. I must say, I listen to Bolita, man. <laughs> <laughs> Try to double their money. All right, let's hear. <laughs> your co host is wicked. Co host? Is that <laughs> you? Oh, dear. <laughs> I am co-host now. <laughs> you know what happened is you got upset that you weren't getting big ups and now everybody's texting oh God. for you. <laughs> Hope my wife doesn't read this. It's probably <laughs> her just making me feel good. She's like, I don't want my hobby making feel... Making me feel needed. Make my hobby feel like he unloved. <laughs> <laughs> There's hope for me. All right, a ring. Hello? Hi, good night. Good night. Ah, you know who's calling you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. This is an OMG moment. What's your name? Shireen. Shireen. Awesome, awesome, baby girl. Well, you have won yourself, Gilvano. Are you watching the TV right now, sweetheart? Oh, yes. Okay, Gilvano, tell them what okay. they've won. I got you two Coke shirts, a book on the history of Coca-Cola, and a case of Coke for you. And a free CD from DJ Dirty Joke. And some Team Belize Olympic pins. Oh, you know what's going on, Shireen? What I'm going to do is, can you text me tomorrow or I'll text you tomorrow and then you can get your prizes. How about that? 
Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Looking forward to meeting you, Shireen. Congrats on your win. Can I meet her too? Gilvanus wants to know if he can meet you as well. <laughs> without your dad, though. <laughs> she says without your dad. No, babes, you know the drill. Oh, I love. I usually put this stuff as smoking mermaid, and you can come on when it's convenient to you. So, but bring your ID. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, yes, he yes. wants small ones. Yeah, I got small and large. He's got a small and a large. His and hers. So it's for you and your superstar, baby. You know how we do what we do right here at OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it, you know. You keep looking younger and younger. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I got to get Love some just that. for men or something. <laughs> I like to hear that. Thanks, doll. <laughs> have give her something night. else. Made my night. I have to put a ponytail more often. <laughs> All right, we have one more, one more call to do. Thanks so much for watching, OMG. Please keep it locked, right? Karam Television, babes. All right. I love it. Bye, girl. Thanks. <laughs> All right, you know what's funny is the person we left a voicemail to was just calling back. Oh, they want a cool shirt. Should we call them or call somebody else? Um, call We're or getting down to crunch time. So let me make a call them back, man. Call them, man. See if they still love us. Let's see. I mean, want, let's see. They're like, oh shoot. Once again, I run gang yeah, be so Oh, the number's busy. What's going on? Let's call somebody else. I want to try call back to. <coughs> I I like that. I got Lee compliment. So I'm like, that was I'm good. Gonna... You have hype hype viewers, man. Yeah, I'm only in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Tell Gilvano we prefer the sprite go good with Caribbean gold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is a kid's Once event, it's so. represented with Coca-Cola, you're all right, because yeah. the whole thing is about boing and boing, right? Mm -hmm. So let's make another call here. All right, let's call this person. So guys, if you were texting in, we're getting down to crunch time, getting down to the wire. Big up my people in the Middle East. Let's Ooh. make another call. <laughs> <laughs> you got to play some of that music you were playing yesterday. How was it? La, Jordan, the wedding happened. Jordan what? Jordan, <laughs> the music you were playing from Jordan. Yeah, wasn't it like some? It had some title you were showing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that we shouldn't be discussing this on the show. You are Cameras are so rolling. funny, <laughs> Gilvano. Inside, <laughs> inside, Jordan is a country in the Middle East. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got me to blush. Anyways, we can make Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like this person here. Six three six. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no worry. Good thing we had blackout. <laughs> Nobody saw. It. Hey, what's going on? Why does it keep saying call failed? Guys at home, you know the studios. We just floss. I don't like nothing. <laughs> Make so a try call back, man. I like this person. What they wrote. Let's see. All right, we get it's right, ringing. Getting ringtone. Da -da -da -da. Michael Jordan worked for the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi, good night. Hello. Hi, good night. Hi, do you know who's Girl. calling you? Miss Gag. OMG. Oh, Miss Gag. <laughs> you can't hide. Hi, good night. Thanks for your text. You so won yourself some prizes. I won a. Okay, cool. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Who? Elva Dawson. All right. Well, what you want yourself is Coca-Cola t-shirts, Coca-Cola book, and what did she win? And then I have a sexy classic Coca-Cola sign. A sexy classic. Let's show it to them. Yes. Classic to Miss Elva Dawson. A sexy classic Coca-Cola sign. It's you also want yourself a CD from DJ Leo and some Team Belize Olympic pins. So Gilvano's oh, taking oh. out this sexy sign for you right I'll now, darling. I have to it open. So, babes, just hit me with a, I want to text it tomorrow, and then Beautiful. you know where you can pick up your prizes, Smoky Mermaid Restaurant, as usual. That's where I leave the prizes. And so, we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, doll? Okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks for watching. OMG. Bye. Bye. All right, Gilly, any up. final words? Because it's getting down to the wire. <laughs> well, I just want to thank you so much, so much for having us here and promoting the whole Coca-Cola project. Of and as you know, as, as you can see, it was a, it's a really cool project where the artist benefits, what the community my, my benefits. My big thing was that the schools were involved and I really, really liked that. Like yes. for me, the it's important to involve the schools. 
education is so important and to to put art and instill that into the young people's minds exactly. so once you tell me the school's on board no i mean you're the, more than welcome that we had many surprises along the way while we were going several things happened uh, many artists um, in their communities made contacts with the schools, especially like say the ones in PG that I couldn't go all the way down there. I, I worked with them with the project and then they went to the school, introduced the project and actually the schools asked them, could you come and teach art or be mentors awesome. to the artists? So that was a great side effect. Uh, Melody in San Pedro, she helped like two third Super a couple cool. of the students there. And another thing that happened, many of the artists, they start working together. You'd think that how the competition would have been rough. But um, they all support each other, and they, and they totally was happy with all the results. Awesome. So, Eddie Lee, big up shout-outs. Shout-outs to your haters. Sorry that they couldn't phase <laughs> I you. I have haters. <laughs> <laughs> no. I am, no, I just like to say uh, <laughs> good night to the country, Belize, and, and to my family and everyone. Awesome. All right, guys, I am Angela Geig as well. I want big up Belize. I'm happy to be back here with you guys. So happy to be back in Belize with you Even guys. Even with your haters. I <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> love you guys. Big up to all my district peeps. I got to big up Judy Reed and her husband. You know, we met in San Pedro. Link up with Kayo. Big up, big up everybody. All the people doing fabulous things. Rebecca Sturm, designer. Oh, yes. Um, Joris, another designer. Everybody who's doing so much things. Next week, I'll be back on with my OMG news. And what I'm going to do is cut the show off with DJ Leo spinning for you. Well, guys at jokes. home, I am Angela Gag. Thank you so much for tuning in to Oh Miss Gag live on Krem TV. Blue. Take it away to Leo. No. Stop the bob and give the gal the beer snow.